Hi you guys, welcome back to another Math in a Hoodie video. This is where I put on my favorite hoodie and we talk about math, which is one of my favorite subjects. Raise your hand if you like math. I hope so, math is so much fun. And today we're gonna to talk about how to classify things. Do you know what it means to classify something? Well, to classify means to put in different groups, right? So let's say that this was group one, okay? And this is group two. And let's say we had a bunch of objects and we had to put them in different groups. That would be classifying something. Let's say you had all your toys out and your mom wanted you to classify them into two groups. Okay, the first group were the toys you played with today. Put all the toys you played with today in group one. Okay, that would be to classify them, okay? So this would be today's toys, okay? Now let's say your mom said to put everything that you played with yesterday in group two. So you're going to classify group two as yesterday's toys. Okay. See how we just did that? We made two groups and we're going to classify our toys into each group. Did we play with it today or did we play with it yesterday? And we could even make a third group if we want. And maybe our third group would be toys that we didn't play with today or yesterday. Would that make sense? So I'm going to put none for this one. So now we have three groups and we're going to classify all of your toys into three groups. The first one is toys that you played with today. The second is toys that you played with yesterday. And the third group is neither of them, none. You didn't play with them today or yesterday. So you would put your toys in one of each group, right? You can't put a toy in both groups, can you? No, because it's just one toy. So each toy has to go into one group, okay? And that would be how you classify your toys. You can classify anything you think about any object or color or um, food or activities, or you can come up with different classifications or groups for just about anything you can think of. So to help us practice classifying stuff, I have gone ahead and put together some groups and I want you to help me classify the items and help me decide which group the items go in. Can you guys help me do that? Okay, guys, let's classify this first group of toys. Do you see the different toys on the page? These are all types of blocks, aren't they? There's Legos, there's alphabet blocks, and then there's building blocks. Let's classify them by putting them into different groups. Here we have three groups. We have a group for all the Legos, a group for the building blocks, and a group for the alphabet blocks. This is how we can classify the blocks. We can make different categories and then put all the blocks in the correct category. Are you ready? Okay, let's start with the first Lego block at the top. Let's put that under Legos. Next, let's do the alphabet block. It goes right in the category that says alphabet blocks. Good job. All right, where do the building blocks at the top of the page go? You got it. It goes under building blocks. Let's do the last three blocks. We have another set of alphabet blocks. We have another Lego set, don't we? 
And our last group goes under building blocks. Good job. Now we have classified all of those blocks into three groups. Do you see how we did that? Okay, good job. You guys see how easy it is to classify things and put items into a group? You guys are doing so good. Let's try another one. All right, guys, let's classify another group of items. This time we're classifying toys. Everybody likes toys. Don't you like your toys? Sometimes we leave our toys out though, don't we? And we need to pick them up. So let's pick up these toys and let's classify them into different groups. There's lots of different ways we could classify these toys. We could classify them by things that are round or things that look like animals or things that have wheels. But for this uh, exercise and assignment, we are going to classify them by color. So let's put them into three groups. Can you see what the three colors are? I bet you could. If you saw green, red, and purple toys, you were right. Good job. Let's go ahead and classify the toys by their color. Let's start with that yo-yo. What color is the yo-yo? If you said purple, you're correct. Let's put it in the purple category. Next, let's move the army guys. And they're green, of course. So they go in the green category. Next, let's put Elmo in the right category. Is Elmo green or purple? No, Elmo is red. So he goes in the red category. Next, we have the purple bear. That's called a Care Bear. And let's put it down with the purple yo-yo. Where does that beach ball go? Well, it's green, so let's put it in the green category. How about that car? What color is the car? Yes, you knew it was red, didn't you? How about the dinosaur? Well, that dinosaur is green, so it'll be our third item in the green category. You guys are getting this. Good job. All right. Next, let's put the purple horse in the purple category. And our last item is the wagon. What color is the wagon? You got it. It's red. Good job. Now we have classified all of our toys by color. You guys are doing so good. Good job, you guys. I'm so proud of you. Let's try one more group of items and let's classify them into different groups, okay? Okay, my little classifying friends, let's do one more exercise to practice this math concept. Now here we have a bunch of different items. We could classify them by color, couldn't we? I see some green and some orange items and some blues. We could color uh, classify them by their size, things that are round, things that are small, things that are flat. But how about we classify it by where we would use them or where we would take them like a trip? So let's classify them into three groups. The first one's going to be items we take to the beach. The second one's going to be items we take camping. And the third one is for items that we could take to both places. If we could use it at the beach or camping, 
then we're going to put it in the last category under both. Okay? Are you already noticing where the items should go? All right, let's get started. The first item is a tent. Well, we take a tent when we go camping, don't we? So let's put that under camping. Good start, guys. How about that bucket and shovel? Well, you don't really play in the sand when you camp, so it's got to be the beach. Good job. Next, let's look at the sunglasses. Well, you definitely take the sunglasses to the beach, but when you're hiking in the summer, do you need sunglasses? You sure do. So let's put those sunglasses in our last category under both because we could use them at both places, huh? All right, the next item is sunscreen. Oh, we definitely need sunscreen when we're at the beach. We don't want to get a sunburn. How about when we're camping though? If you're hiking in a tank top or a short sleeve shirt, does your mom af uh, ask you to put on some sunscreen? I bet she does. So that means it's going to go in the both category, huh? Because we can use sunscreen at both places. Next, we have a walking stick. Have you ever used a walking stick before? It can help you when you're going on hard trails, helps you keep your balance and walk a little faster. So we don't use that at the beach. So what category should it go under? You're right. It goes with camping, doesn't it? Good job. Okay, let's move to the top row. We have some cute flip flops. Should we wear flip flops when we're hiking? No. Flip flops are to be worn at the beach. Good job. Next, we have a backpack full of items. Where should we use this? Well, we don't want to take a heavy backpack to the beach, do we? And it's got a water canteen on it too. So I bet that's for camping. Let's put it under camping. Next, we have a bottle of water. Oh, well, we definitely need water when we're camping and at the beach, don't we? I think that item should go under both. Okay, next we have some boots. Now, those look like some heavy boots. We wouldn't want to wear those uh, to the beach, would we? No, our feet would get hot and sweaty. Those are for camping. All right, guys, we have two more left. What about this towel? We use towels to lay out when we go to the beach, don't we? Or to dry off after getting in the water. So let's move the towel to the beach category. Now we have one more item left, and that's a hat. It can protect us from the sun and keep us cool. Well, we'll definitely need it at the beach, but if we're hiking, we'd want it too, don't you think? So let's put this cute orange hat under the both category. Look, you guys, we did it. We classified all of those items under three groups, beach, camping, or both. You guys are rock stars. Good job. You guys, you did it. You are so good at classifying objects and putting objects into different groups. I hope you understand how to do it. Now you can practice at home with toys in your bedroom or different colors of clothes you have or your favorite shoes and your not so favorite shoes. You can classify anything if you wanted to. So thanks so much for practicing this math concept with me today. I'm so happy you stopped by. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time on Math in a Hoodie.